I think the aim of the project is to try to find a way of having the UK have a more sustainable economy, uh, looking forward to what's going to be the direction of manufacturing and what's going to be the direction of things associated with manufacturing. Well, the project's important to me on two fields. I'll start with the micro. I've got four children, they're all married, I've got six grandchildren, and I want the UK to be a place where kids can grow up knowing they've got a future, knowing they can expand their skills, and having a choice of how to spend their skills that have all been direct into one particular in uh, industry sector or business sector or another. From a personal point of view, uh, I think it's about time we found a way whereby business can start to be rated and respected again. And I think this particular subject allows one to perhaps try to influence some of the frameworks within which we work. And if we can get some conclusions which can focus on real jobs, export performance, feeling proud of buying British even, that actually be quite a step forward. We are trying to establish what are the forces that are going to be impacting on manufacturing over the next two, three, four decades uh, in order that we can better prepare ourselves. That doesn't mean we know exactly where we want to go, but we do want to be ready for the sort of trends and the shocks that might come in those decades. And we're all trying to gather intelligence and base uh, our view of that future very soundly on as much data as we can gather over the next two years. I think that we need a sensible economy that has all aspects of excellent service, excellent financial sector, and it needs an excellent manufacturing sector to provide that balance. Well, this project is important for me because I work in the area of bioscience. Bioscience is an important contributor to the UK economy. Uh, but at the moment it's in the doldrums for a variety of reasons and particularly from the manufacturing point of view um, and therefore I would like to see it increased in importance in the UK economy. I think I want this project to um, deliver and say what is manufacturing going to look like in the next 10 or 20 or 30 years and the answer is it can't do that because it is completely impossible to predict the future. But what it can do is indicate what are the sort of futures that might be possible and what sort of interventions we could actually make so that the future that, we actually ha that happens is more likely because of our interventions now in the next few years. Well, the first thing to uh, say is that we obviously need people who are experts in a whole series of different aspects of manufacturing. We need industrialists who think, who think about the future because that's part of their job. We need scientists and technologists who think about the issues and who are actually have some idea of the way technology and science will develop. And we also need people who think about the social and economic aspects of manufacturing because these are equally important. To do that, we pulled together a lead expert group led by an industrialist but with um, individuals from these other disciplines involved and that lead expert group will commission scientific work, economic work, social work and technological work to actually uh, examine how this may change over the next 20 or 30 years.